Has to force the shot off. No. Waves with a chance to tie. Harris takes it all the way. No. And she stepped out of bounds. It'll be Seattle's basketball. So that was a situation right where on the D board, Dallas had momentum. They were going to have a chance being down three to be able to get a quick score, which put them down one, or maybe even if she finishes this with a foul, that how you get the old school three point play. They're going to go back and review this though. The call on the floor was out of bounds on Ty Harris. But we're taking another look at that and I don't know if it's quite the case. Well, they're going to definitely look at it. Again, along with Reagan Peebley, I'm Ron Thule for the second game in a row. It's a tight one, but you go back to last year. Every game, I think, was decided by three or less when they played here last year. It went into overtime. We expect this. Again, the Wings without two important players, but Seattle, they're just such an efficient basketball team. They are, but I, I'm telling you, I think in this game, you're going to see, I think, a Vicki Johnson that is really happy with her team's performance and right. gut and grit and how they play together, especially with the absence of those two players, as you noted. But everybody's watching Seattle right now and figuring out and seeing they're figuring it out. They are doing a great job playing Seattle Storm basketball on both ends of the floor, Ron. Their defense has been really stellar so far this season. But one of the things Noel Quinn says, teams know our stuff now, but we've got to put players in spaces to be successful. And she's done that tonight. Vicki Johnson, masterful job with substitutions this evening. Everybody available has played. Now Dallas needs a quick stop and a three to send this game into OT. Williams will trigger it. Gray just clutching on to Lloyd. And finally, Harris will foul Sue Bird, who will make her first trip to the line tonight. You knew who was going to get the first look at trying to get that free throw for Seattle, and it was going to be Sue Bird. They want the ball in her hands in end of game situations because not only can she hit a free throw, but she can also not turn the ball over. Exactly. Perfect from the line, seven of seven. The lead is now four, 83-79. Coach Quinn again beginning this road trip in Minnesota on Tuesday. Minnesota, of course, without Sylvia Fowles, so we wish Syl a healthy and speedy recovery. Here is a walk career. You can't waste time. Somebody's got to shoot it. Harris finally does in and out, and that's going to do it. So for the second consecutive game, it was a battle between Seattle and Dallas. And for the second consecutive game, Seattle comes up on top, 84 to 79. Value, quick comment, though, Reagan, valiant effort by the wing.